heard the family who used to live here were very disconnected from everyone else in the street. The only time people would see them leave the house was when they were taking a girl believed to be their daughter called Danielle to school and back, and that wasn't even very often. What's worse is the only time people ever heard their voices was when Danielle was screaming at her parents for whatever reason, but it got more and more frequent as time went on, and more and more worse. The more people saw her leaving the house to go to school, the more cuts and bruises she had on her face, the more handling it took to get her in the car from her fighting back, the more screaming was heard and the louder it got. No one thought of calling the police because they felt they weren't in the right place to do so, but when people finally thought it was enough, it was too late. No more screaming and shouting and no longer did people witness her getting forced into the car for school. No more cuts and bruises. She was gone. After concerns, police flooded the house and the parents were arrested for murder. They were both sentenced to 30 years each. I live in that house now. My cupboard door was open and there's photos in there. It's all burnt around the edges and it looks to be um, a photo of a little girl and she looks to be like she's sat on a well. <laughs> This is what happened. I got up in the middle of the night to get a drink. I went downstairs and whilst I was having a drink, I heard a bang coming from upstairs. So I came upstairs to see what it was. And this cupboard door was open. So I looked inside and the photo was in there. Oh my God.